Welcome to a lesson on determining the slope and intercepts of lines in sloped intercept form. A linear equation is in sloped intercept form. If it's in any of these three forms here, the most common form is y equals mx plus b, which can also be written as y equals b plus mx, or using function notation, f of x equals mx plus b. When we have a linear equation in this form, m is equal to the slope of the line. Notice how m is the coefficient of x. And b is always equal to the vertical or y-intercept. b would be the constant term. So even though b does tell us whether the line crosses the vertical or y-axis, we should give the vertical intercept as an ordered pair, which would be zero comma b. Now looking at example one, we have our equations here. We're asked to determine the slope then indicate whether the line is increasing, decreasing, horizontal or vertical, and finally, the ordered pair for the vertical intercept. So for our first equation, we have y equals three x plus five. The coefficient of x is three, and therefore the slope is three. And because our slope is positive, this indicates that the line is increasing. So we put a capital I here, and now we want to find the vertical or y-intercept which would be b, notice that b is equal to five, which means the line crosses the vertical axis at five, which would be the ordered pair zero comma five. Now let's verify this graphically. I've already graphed the line here. Notice how if we select two points, let's say this point and this point, from this point on the left, if we go up three units and right one unit, we do find a point on the line which verifies our slope. The line is going uphill from left to right, and therefore we do have an increasing linear function. And finally, the vertical intercept, this point here does have an ordered pair, zero comma five. Next we have y equals eight minus x. To help us determine the slope though, because we're looking for the coefficient of x, let's write this as y equals eight minus one x. So in this form, notice how the coefficient of x is negative one, and therefore the slope is negative one. The slope is negative, and therefore the line is decreasing. So we put a D here. And now for the vertical intercept, notice how the constant B in this equation is equal to eight, and therefore the vertical intercept would be the point zero comma eight. Again, let's verify this graphically. Here's the graph of Y equals eight minus X. If we select two points, let's just say this point and this point, notice how if we go down one unit and write one unit. This verifies our slope as negative one. The line is going downhill from left to right, indicating we have a decreasing linear function. And finally, the vertical intercept is here with the ordered pair zero comma eight. Again, verifying our work is correct. Next, we have y equals two x. Notice here m, the coefficient of x is two and therefore the slope is two, slope is positive, so we have an increasing function. And notice here, to find the vertical intercept, we're looking for the constant term in the equation. There isn't a constant term, but we could write plus zero to create an equivalent equation. In this form, notice how the constant b would be equal to zero. So if the vertical intercept is zero, that would be the origin with ordered pair zero comma zero. Again, verifying this graphically, if we select two points, let's say this point and this point, notice how if we go up two units and write one unit, this does verify the slope is two. The line is going uphill from left to right, which means we do have an increasing function. And then finally, the vertical intercept is the origin with the ordered pair zero comma zero. And for our last example here, we have y equals negative eight. So to determine the slope, we're looking for the coefficient of x, but there is no x term. So an equivalent equation with an x term would be y equals zero x minus eight. Zero times x is zero, so this would be an equivalent equation. And notice in this form, we can see that the coefficient of x would be zero, which does give us our slope. So the slope is zero. Whenever we have a slope of zero, we have a horizontal line. So we put an H here, and we're asked to find the vertical intercept, which again is given by B. B is the constant term, 
Notice out here the constant term is negative eight, which means the vertical intercept would be the point zero comma negative eight. Again, let's verify this graphically. Notice from the graph you can see we do have a horizontal line which does have a slope of zero, and the vertical intercept is this point here, zero comma negative eight. So we can gather a lot of information just by analyzing the equation of a line if the equation is in slope intercept form. Now for example two, we're gonna look at the same equations again, but now we're asked to determine the horizontal or x-intercepts for each linear equation. And there are no shortcuts here to determine the horizontal or x-intercepts, we set y equal to zero and solve for x. So for y equals three x plus five, we'd have the equation zero equals three x plus five. Solving for x, we would subtract five on both sides. So we have negative five equals three x, dividing both sides by three. We have x equals negative five thirds. Now we're looking for the horizontal or x intercept, which is a point, and therefore we need to give this as an ordered pair. We don't want to leave it in this form here. So the x coordinate would be negative five thirds and the y coordinate would be zero. This would be our horizontal intercept. Going back to our graph just for a moment, notice how the horizontal intercept does appear to be negative five thirds comma zero. Next we have y equals eight minus x. So again we set y equal to zero, so we would have zero equals eight minus x. Let's go ahead and add x to both sides. So plus x plus x. Simplifying we get x equals, this is zero, so x equals eight, which is our horizontal intercept, which as an ordered pair would be eight comma zero. Going back to this graph, this does verify that the horizontal intercept is eight comma zero. Next we have y equals two x, so again to find the horizontal intercept we set y equal to zero, so we have zero equals two x, dividing both sides by two, well, zero divided by two is zero, so we have zero equals x, which means the horizontal intercept would be the origin with coordinates zero comma zero. Remember, this was the same as the vertical intercept because the origin is the only point that's on both axes. And again, verifying this graphically, because this line passes through the origin, this point here is both the vertical and horizontal intercept. Next we have y equals negative eight. Notice here if we substitute zero for y, we get zero equals negative eight, which is not true. This indicates there is no horizontal intercept. And this should make sense if we go back to our graph, because we have a horizontal line passing through the vertical axis at negative eight, it does not cross the horizontal axis, and therefore there's no horizontal intercept. Now for our last example, we're asked to determine the equation of each vertical line. If you remember from a previous lesson, all vertical lines are in the form of x equals some constant. But if we don't remember this, we can just find several points on the vertical line and we'll notice a pattern. This is a little small, but this point here would be the ordered pair negative four comma four. This point here would be the ordered pair negative four comma two. Here we would have the ordered pair negative four comma zero. Here we'd have the ordered pair negative four comma negative two. Notice all the x coordinates are equal to negative four, which gives us the equation of our line. The equation of this vertical line is x equals negative four. Again, notice how this fits the form where we have x equals some constant. And for our last example, Notice how this point here would have coordinates two comma four. This point here would have coordinates two comma two. Here we have two comma zero. Here we have two comma negative two. Again, notice the pattern. Every x coordinate is equal to positive two, which gives us the equation of a vertical line. X equals two. I think we'll stop here. Thank you for watching.